Hi guys, how are you doing? I hope you're doing great. Today we're gonna be going over my picks for the Sephora sale. These are not recommendations, I made a video specifically for that. But this will be what I am planning to get for the Sephora sale. So today is the 31st, the sale is tomorrow. I'm just preparing my car because it falls at a specific time in my country where it's inconvenient for me to be on my computer I will probably be out, it will probably be evening I think so I'm just gonna prepare my cart and I'm gonna check out tomorrow so I thought it would be fun to see you know the shopping process I already have a few ideas but let's look at what is into the Sephora website together so first of all I am gonna purchase this makeup by Mario ethereal eyes eyeshadow palette um, this is because I really like the first eyeshadow palette at first I wasn't really sure about it but then using it more and more I think that it's my gem and what I like about this palette is well first of all Mario explained it and the way it is basically in quad so you have like this evening quad daytime quad and I really like that we have some purpley taupes and more taupey shimmers that's really my favorite type of shimmers and mattes so I'm looking forward to get this and I have seen a few reviews honestly some people are not really enthusiastic about it uh, see you really have one star review but I'm counting on Mario to carry this and to come through I was also really unsure about this Patrick Ta major skin hydrolux foundation I'm not gonna read all that because that is super CEO friendly but not um, speaking friendly <laughs> I would definitely be the shade 3 rosy neutral however I've heard a lot of reviews and this is a hit or a miss I have dry skin so this should work well for me however they do not recommend it for particularly hot climates and I live in the UAE where it's super hot all the time it's like 30 degrees Celsius all the time and I don't think this would hold up really well however I do have a need for a new foundation I really like the Liz Aldridge skin tint but I'm probably gonna purchase that when I visit London so I'm probably gonna go to um, you know Selfridges and get it from there but in the meantime I need a new foundation and if this doesn't work I was actually thinking of getting the Dior one not this one not this stick one because I think it's too drying for me as a dry skin person I was thinking I'll get this one which is the Dior Forever Skin Glow foundation I really like foundations that have like this skin finish glowy finish and I really like the Dior F skin uh, st I think it's star glow star filter something like that it's the illuminator from Dior I really like that one so if the foundation is like that but with more coverage I would really love this so I think I'm gonna pick up the shade zero where is it zero N fair skin with neutral tones there is a zero zero N neutral but I think it's like almost paper white so I should be zero N it's super pricey it's 57 basically the same price as Patrick Ta which is crazy to me and getting this at a discount like almost 10 to 12 dollars off I think it's a great deal so I'm gonna make the most out of that with my rouge uh, access to the sale I would really love um, powder but I actually already got Nabla's new like setting powder so I don't want a compact powder but I am definitely gonna be purchasing the Givenchy powder this one I'm gonna get the mini one because honestly I have the, f the Huda Beauty the full Huda Beauty one and it's it's a lot I'm never gonna go through it I tried this one after the reformulation so when it was already made a radiant powder I tried a sample and I really really like it I like that fa the fact that it isn't as matte as the Uda, Uda Beauty I do like that 
skin finish that glowy finish and i also think that it's very blurring so i really like it i know that people that have tried the original formula like that one better i think it's a huge hit if you like a formula and then they change it on you that sucks but i only tried this their formulated one and i like it and um yeah i'm gonna pick up the mini in the shade voile rose because that is a sample that i got and it works perfectly for me i could go lighter but why change something that works you know so i'm gonna pick up the mini here as for blush i have to say i have been eyeing this Calire blurry blush because of this packaging like i really like the fact that you can see the shade so clearly i don't know i think it looks very cute but most importantly i am in my baby pink era and this color epic which is a cool orchid pink it looks great i have a few baby pink blushes now but i am still looking out for the perfect blush because i feel like all the baby pink blushes i have right now are not super long lasting on me and they tend to fade quite a bit i've read the reviews for this and people do say that this lasts like it almost sets uh, in a blurry powdery formula so i'm really looking to try this one and it's not a lot it's 25 dollars i think it's a good deal if it's as good as it promises of course and since I really, really am in my baby pink era. I'm also gonna get the Too Faced Cloud Crush Powder Blush. First of all, the packaging is super cute. Like, I don't think you can see it clearly here from the picture, but it's like this cute compact with the same color of the blush and this heart-shaped opening. I, I don't know what you call that, but you get it. And people love this blush. It has a lot of good reviews. Again, they have claims that this, that this is super, super long-lasting. And I want a long-lasting baby pink. I'm gonna find it. Even if it means purchasing two blushes, two different blushes of the same shade. I'm going on a trip to London, so I really want my makeup to last all day from morning to evening. And I need a blush that lasts through that. And this looks super cute, so I'm gonna definitely pick this up. Another thing I am really interested in are the Patrick Ta eyeshadow duos. I think the price is super wrong for what these are, but the Sephora sale is the only thing that makes these in my opinion worth purchasing because you will basically get ten dollars off each and that should have been the original price i am looking at the shades i'm with her mostly because of this oops mostly because of this rosy pink i really like this first shade and even though i'm not a big fan of fuchsia i do know that it works super well with my undertones and my contrast so mo mostly i'm really am interested in the first shade i know i know it just i'm i'm paying 30 and something dollars for one shade um yeah i know that's crazy and the second one is still at the club which is sold out which is crazy can we just agree when launches are like two to three days before the sephora sale can we just all agree to wait for the sale please like this launched on the 29th here on sephora and it's the 31st and it's already sold out i'm gonna pick this up from patrick ta's website because i saw that it's still in stock and i can still get 15 percent off there but please guys wait for the sale if you can get a discount why not that is crazy <laughs> hopefully it will restock for the sephora sale so that other people can get it this is so far what i think i really want uh i noticed that there are some like super cute minis like for a certain time i was unsure whether to pick up another one of those makeup forever eyeliner kits i use mine a lot i've i've almost gone through my black eyeliner from this kit 
um, but I think I'm gonna hold on to this because I still have a bit left of the other shades so I would just be picking up the black and I do have a lot of black eyeliners these Sephora sets are gonna be sold out in a matter of minutes mark my words so if you're interested in any of these I would be ready I got this uh, mini lipstick and liner set last month they're really cute another set I was really interested in it's sold out yes it's this one from Kosas this mini blush is life trio these look so cute and I like the idea of having three shades and maybe you know using them as stocking stuffers uh, take one for me and one for my mom and one for my friend but this went out of stock pretty much as soon as this was on the website I think Kosas did a really good job with this set everybody liked it it's you can pick it up in store oh see how cute these are you can pick these up in store however i am not in the us so i can't but if you can you should check them out definitely let me know in the comments what you are looking to purchase this sale i'm really interested in knowing that i'm always interested in the what other people are getting and that's why I always like look at those YouTube videos where what I'm getting for the Sephora sale, my wishlist for Sephora sale. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!